Well, hey, everybody. It's me, Ramon Suea. The, the what used to be Pacific. I'm done with Pacific. Done. But the last videos that I uploaded, the only one that's recent is the one that I got last Saturday night. I was sitting here listening to YouTube, and I hear my full name. Yes. Legatus had called, and I aired that video. It wasn't going to. He made an agreement that he would not do anything to me if I stopped making videos. I told him I was going to keep my Ramon Sawaya channel for my music playlist. He says, no problem. I just don't want to see a video. He broke his end of the agreement. He did not remove the Encyclopedia Dramatica page. He also uploaded the video of the conversation. Minus the video because I recorded myself talking. And that was not, I did not record that for the intent of uploading it. Now, before anybody wonders, oh my gosh, Pacific. I say, hold it, this is Ramon. Aren't you embarrassed? You cussed, you got mad? Nope. Part of being a Christian is being real. That's what the previous channel was all about. I will not be censored. I just am not going to have it. Especially when one breaks their agreement. So, my agreement with him is over because he broke his end of the bargain. I removed all the videos that I had uploaded. These videos that I post tonight, none of them have been posted before. They were videos that I had intent to post, but I was only going to post them in the event that Legatus started up his crapola again. But this video is not going to be about Legatus, except to reference him in connection with Fine Peace. Fine Peace is one of two people. It is Maharani or it is Gypsy. Gypsy was the school teacher in the eastern Denver metro area suburbs that as you all remember had posted I had posted a Craigslist ad quite a while ago I believe it would have been was it 2013 or 14 I, I don't even remember now and without rehashing she wrote me not nice letters for a year she got mad because I mentioned her as gypsy as part of an illustration of what I had talked about on my channel about women, American women, the Western women. Those of you that have watched the channel knew all about that, so no sense in beating a dead horse. Trying to analyze Fine Peace's channel was tough because Maharani never had the capability of taking my videos, cutting and splicing, and then overlaying pictures from a Tumblr account onto that. But it was time for me, and I had written her in the last week, on Legatus's to Pacific I Win video. And, and one thing that needs to be mentioned here is the reason, and I finally figured out why, if... Legatus hates me so much. Why does he keep uploading my videos? And it was simply to steal views. He doesn't have his own material. His only material was his to Pacific I Win video. And we have already covered that in previous videos. It was megalomaniacal to the core. Grandstanding. Still hiding. While threatening, bullying, intimidating. A minor senior citizens, myself, others, posting personal information, resorting to chicken shit style tactics. Instead of telling me, hey, I disagree with your video form and here's why. I don't, 
I don't take kindly to people that make threats, that hide behind a monitor, that do underhanded, unethical things. Disagree with me? I can handle that. Find peace is the troll that doesn't quit. When I shut down my channel back in November of 2015, I was out of state dating a girl that I had met. She and I both, she was looking on her tablet at this ongoing drama and said, did, did you see this stuff? Did you see Planejas? Did you see people defending you? I said, no, I haven't even looked. I don't even want to look. She herself had said that Legatus and mentioned several others that were my constant trolls. She called them all out and said, these guys don't have a life. For some time I thought Fine Peace was Maharani's sister. Then I thought it was Maharani. First, originally I thought it was some guy. I thought it was something from the remnants of Loremaster Minor People. But Loremaster even pulled his channel and skedaddled. He said, you know, I don't need this. I have no angst against Loremaster. We fought it out in videos. He said, I'm not the one doing this stuff. No one knew who Legatus was. I was on a wild goose chase of some guy in New York that had pictures of uh, cartoon pictures of Spider-Man with a little boy making sexual innuendos. And I'm like, well, gee. And that was that was given to me. That link was given to me by somebody claiming to be somebody on my side. Little did I realize there was a whole lot of sock puppet accounts going on and all of that. When somebody is harassing you and doing what they do, this is when things get out of hand. The atheists are losing ground. Legatus is not the only one doing it. There's some big channel names of atheists out there that anybody that leaves a comment on their channel, they're immediately doxing them, bullying them. And as I said before, there's a court case right now in the U.S. of a 14-year-old boy who left a comment disagreeing with an atheist who doxed him and is harassing him. One can only hope that the legalities of this stuff will change. The Internet has been the wild, wild west. But as I've told my viewers in a previous video uploaded this evening, you need not be ashamed of your views, even if I or anybody else disagree with them. One of the things that makes America great, and you heard Legatus in his conversation that he's not under the Constitution, he's not under anything. One of the reasons expats go to foreign countries is because they can't do the things in their country that they want to do, the nefarious, wicked things, and they go hide. No brainer there. I would hope that all the people that supported Legatus will see that conversation and start to have some question marks in their head. Whether they agree with me or not is irrelevant. To the rest of the people who have issue with me and go on and on, I say one thing. Go get a life. Get on YouTube and tell us about it. In the meantime, I want to deal with fine peace. When I started looking at the updates, the constant updates, even after I was gone, about a month and a half ago, I started looking at Legacy's channel, seeing fine peace still going and going and going and saying Pacific this, but I thought, man, I'm not even on here anymore. And it finally dawned on me by the writing style, this is a woman. A very self-righteous one at that. One that wants to lambaste me at every turn. Then recently wrote comments about the girl I dated. Taking quotes from the video I had under Pacific Ocean Asia called Leatherbound Truth. She took things grossly out of context. Saying he clearly, you know, doesn't want to date a Christian. Quoting me saying save it. And I said that because I've dated Christian women. And a lot of them turned out to be bummers. 
The problem is, is when you get on a forum and you're real and you're honest and you're transparent, you're going to have a whole lot of people to go, wow, I like this guy. But then you're going to have a whole lot of people out there to go, I don't like this guy. And one of the primary reasons for that is not because of my so-called hypocrisy. The hypocrisy that was supposedly brought to light was Pacific was looking at pictures of women, posting them on Tumblr, past tense. I don't know any guy that hasn't looked at pictures of scantily or unclad women. The problem came in when I talked about my Christian beliefs and I talked about my struggles. Who were the first ones to vilify? Find peace, the self-righteous judge and jury, the viker of Christ who is bound and determined to say, I am going to hell, that I am a sensual heretic. And to that I say, but you went and looked at all those pictures. What does that make you? Two things. You're looking for trouble. You were, you know, setting a trap. You couldn't wait to find dirt. And if you look at the Pharisees, they were constantly trying to trap Jesus. It's not that Pacific had anything to hide. If you read Fine Peace's ongoing stuff, she's saving all these things for this eventual court case. Court case of what? That I had an interest in a 23 who turned 24-year-old woman who she says was barely out of her teens? Yes. It's kind of like I talked about in my videos before that we changed the terms of things. You know, we don't call it abortion. We don't call it murder. We call it choice. We, 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 we talk about things in, in palatable ways, but when we want to vilify or demonize somebody, we make that association with children. Two things come to mind, and one thing that I've always lived with is that health hath no fury like women scorned, and that, 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 that's a fact. It's either Gypsy, who was angry at me when I sent her an email saying, if you do this again, I will contact your school district and say, do you know this girl's harassing me on the internet? Boom! She suddenly went away. No more emails. I don't know if it's her. Then I thought it's Maharani. Maharani had written me a letter, an email, dated June 15th. I love you. I miss you. My mother's ordered me to go to counseling. I can't handle this. I shut down Facebook. I should get off the internet. Blah, 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 blah. I will miss you. I love you. I hope I can see you in heaven and blah, blah, blah. Two weeks later, Find Peace channel shows up. And this woman is doggedly determined to dog me every step of the way. And I want to remind the people watching this video, whether you agree with Christianity or Christian doctrine or biblical doctrine at all, that in the former video segments, Pacific was admitting his struggles with life and humanity. Some Christians would rather have smooth, polished preachers and make $250,000 a year and have Christian cruises and all this, that they can handle. But when you have a guy like me who says, man, i keeping it real. Here's my struggle. Here's who I am. Here's what I believe. And all the backlash, hypocrisy. It's funny. Everybody knows that the Internet is a safe haven. I'm going to say the word for psychos. It is a safe haven for malcontents. It is a safe haven for a lot of people that don't mainstream. That's why I'm here. I work hard. I try. But find peace has an axe to grind that doesn't quit. So, for the people watching, in the comments on Legatus' video, in the comments, I, I kept saying, you need to show yourself. If you're not Gypsy, if you're not Maharani, show us who you are. She refuses to do that. 
She attacks Legatus, she attacks me. She attacks Legatus, then she says we're in alliance together. No. Legatus had told me that find peace is Maharani. I told Legatus, show me the stuff. It's funny. But if you listen to find peace, I don't have a right to defend myself while she can run her mouth like a toilet bowl. I know that viewers are going to get on here and say, hey, don't do this. Don't do this. If it bothers you that I'm talking about this, just go away now and save yourself the trouble. I'm not back here to make a channel talking about this. In fact, I wasn't even here to make a channel. I had a channel. I started putting up videos like it's just left a threat, which is right there for all to see. And I will pull it up so that people can see it or hear me read it aloud. This was sent to me on, let's see if it's got the date stamp. Ah, Michael McGinty Nelson, we meet again at last. You met my, this was four weeks ago, you met my terms of surrender last year, did you not? Remember the promise I made in the message that I've sent to Michael Laidlow's? No force on this planet will stop me from breaking your bones and burning your skin. Understand that this action made by you will cost you greatly. In the meantime, I will place your information back online for all to see. Again, the eyes of Mars are upon me, and I will not fail him. Here's the docs again. Feel free to show that to the police department. I know you will encounter them again in the future. Veil. Ian... His conversation with me, he said he removed the ED page, and I said, no, you didn't. You just moved it somewhere else. Silence. If you notice, there was long pauses of silence in the video. Refused to answer questions. I heard noise in the background that sounded like other people. I don't know if he was in Canada or in Hong Kong. All I have asked Legatus to do is to stop it. If you don't like my channel, go away. The guy has something wrong up here. The fact that he had to change his voice for the conversation with me. The fact that he uploaded on February 3rd the conversation I had with him, only my side of it, and left his out. Ought to tell even his supporters, whoa, what's this? I didn't edit anything. I'm <laughs> pretty grassroots here in a storage room, in a closet, in the truck, in the bus. You know, I do videos wherever. But Fine Peace has a vendetta. She has a personal call to vengeance. She assumes the place of God. And if you read the comments against me and against others, she is your typical American slash Western female who is bound to determine to one get the last word two going to talk with such authority that I have all this figured out and you're going to lose and I started analyzing this in the last week on what is the difference between her and the other trolls nothing not once did fine peace whoever she is write me personally and say hey I have a problem with the pictures you posted Sister to brother, I want to talk to you about that. Even the Bible, Matthew 18, says, Go and tell him his fault alone. She didn't do that. The comment was made that she had the right to go public with it since I was public. Again, Matthew 18 says, Go to him. If he will not listen to you, take two or three others. She could have written other viewers and said, Hey, I've tried to approach Pacific. He's unwilling. Let's blow this out there. Nothing to blow out. I had said I had a Tumblr account. No big deal. The fact is, is I took it down. Moved on. She's still acting like this was done just the other day. She blasts the girl I dated from out of state, even though she doesn't know her. Criticized her for being an unbeliever. And inside I'm laughing. I read Fine Pieces vitriolic 
barbed wired comments. And I go, this is the kind of a Christian that a man is going to want to be attracted to, fall in love with. I, I don't think so. I was reading something the other day by Charles Stanley that really struck me. Excuse me, Chuck Swindoll, the, the knowing the will of God or the will of God. It talks about a woman, a Christian woman that was married to a guy who the bottle had won him over. Alcoholism. And he'd go off and go drinking. She never scolded him. She never confronted him. He came home one night and found her just quietly quoting scriptures herself and praying. And he walked up to her and said, I bought the beer, but I threw it out the truck window on the way home. And do you know why? She was so loving to him. She never condemned and scolded him. That that caused him to get rid of the stuff. One of the things that I've said in my videos that we're all broken people. Legatuses. Fine pieces. Maharanias. Myself. My viewers. We all have problems. I never came off as perfect. I may have gotten out of joint in my videos. There are things I've done that lacked discretion. Who hasn't? But the relentless attack by fine peace needed to be confronted. And rather than write her and go round and round, she made her Captain Crunch videos with the Captain Crunch hat, you know, showing Pirate Pacific. And I just thought... Okay, you feel better now? There was no love. There was no Christian care or compassion whatsoever. Just the sword slashing in all directions. No trying to encourage me to become a better person. I'm going to get in trouble for this. <laughs> you know, we, we got to bring up old times. A sniff it. I saw the comments. The sniffing. I caught a cold this week. Been doing really good. What bothers me about Find Peace is it's exactly what I had said in the previous channel forum videos about women in this culture cannot admit they're wrong. Ever. They will demonize and vilify men. Especially when they find something to grab onto. And they're like a pit bull with a rabbit in their mouth. You're not going to get that rabbit out of their mouth. You're just not. They're going to shake it. Teeth sunk into it. That to me is not the sign of a Christian. If you notice when I talked to Legatus, yes, I blew up. And I tried to, maybe this guy will soften. Maybe this guy is going to tell the truth. But when he posted, if he had posted the video of our complete conversation and just let it stand, but nope, he changed, if I can use the word transmogrified or transmorphed his voice so that you couldn't hear what he said. I thought, well, that's not right. And then he puts the text in there saying, Pacific exploded. Okay. He made an agreement not to hassle me if I didn't make any more videos. And I said, fair enough. Take down the Encyclopedia Dramatica page. He did not. He supposedly took the docks down, but he has moved it around under different locales. And I hope that the people who support him will start looking at this intellectually. Whether you people agree with me or not is irrelevant. There are other people who have watched this whole drama and said, we don't agree with Pacific, he's kind of out there. But censoring him, telling him he can't come back. Find peace is another one. I had thought through the course of the few months here that 
maybe I would just come back and do nothing but Bible-based videos. Quit talking about culture. Quit talking about car drivers. Quit talking about American women. Just stick to Bible stuff. And Legatus has made it very clear that I'm not allowed to do anything. And I even submitted that. If it gets him to leave me alone, great. Nothing's going to work. So, continue on, Ramon Sawaya. That kind of behavior is nothing short of psychotic. It is communistic. It is censorship. It is atheism run amok. You heard in this conversation to me, it starts with the letter G. I had made a video talking about that. Saying that the reason Legatus did what he did is he doesn't like my views of God. Something I have said has stepped on a toe. Is it really about the Tumblr pictures? I doubt it. Is he telling the truth that he's never, ever, ever lusted after a female? He admitted he had one or two dates. And there was people saying that I can't get a date. I have had multiple dates in the last year. I just went on one two weeks ago. A nice gal. Nobody's serious. I don't have a long-term relationship. Somebody to go to dinner with, the movies. Pulling out of state did not work out. You want to know why? Several reasons. Do I need to get into them here? No. Did I like her? I did very much. But there were some definite differences. There were some interferences from other people. But I'm learning. It's funny, but find peace doesn't give me the right to learn. She doesn't give me the right to put up my backup lights and back out and rethink. In the time I shut my channel down, I did rethink a lot of things. I thought, I don't need this. And the problem is, is I feel that God has given me a voice. I love the gift of gab. I like to talk. People are funny, though. I watched trolls say he never listened to us, never listened to us. Of course I didn't listen to you. You guys are telling me the F word and this and that. Why am I going to listen to you? You're, you're, you're cussing at me or calling me stupid because you don't agree with it. There was others that admitted that they liked my channel just because they wanted to keep harassing me. <laughs> Does that even make rational sense? I said over and over in my last form. If I don't like something, I don't go back to it. After the Pacific sank beneath the waves, it became like the Titanic. <laughs> Commentary and people discussing it still continued. It is 2016, the Titanic sank in 1912. That's 104 years ago. This April. The Pacific sank. And this stuff was going on and on and on. And I was like, this is unreal. And there were people writing me, calling me, you need to come back, you need to come back. I didn't respond to most of the people. My true intent was to go away. I was accused of being a megalomaniac. And I thought, really? I don't need to keep doing this. I do it because I like it. It's fun. Find peace is either Gypsy or Maharani. Especially the way she demonized the girl I dated out of state that she didn't know. This is somebody who's either jealous or somebody who hates anybody that had an interest in me. Anybody remember Gypsy would not call me even from a blocked number or a pay phone or another friend's phone. I had it all on my post when I put up the profile for seeking a girl to date and have a long-term relationship. And for one year, I was harassed by her. And why was I harassed? Because I dropped the name, the nickname, Gypsy. I thought, hey, I have the right to use as an illustration what I'm going through. I didn't mention names.
Some people have nothing better to do. Find peace, wrote White, hope that Pacific had moved on with his life and a new start. Thought, but you are there every single day on the internet, all caught up in this, constantly worried about Pacific's this and that, Pacific's bad, Pacific's bad. Then she takes on Legatus. And then Legatus is telling me strongly that that's Maharani. Based on the fact that he made a commitment not to bother me if I didn't make videos, and then he posted that February 3rd, I thought, well, he's not telling the truth, is he? You remember when I mentioned in the conversation about anal beads, the chain? He laughed. I said, I didn't even know what those were until the girl out of state told me what they were. I said, are you serious? Yes. Wow, I didn't even know that. How did Legatus know about that? The thing with Legatus is she's made it clear that it's about him being dominant, about him winning. Why is that? It's simple. Because he hasn't won. Because he's insecure. Because he's been bullied. Because he's been picked on. So now he's going to do it through the means of the internet. Harassment, bullying, threats, dogs. <laughs> People like Legatus are not going to go walk down an alley saying, come on, man, let's go. They're not going to do that. They're too afraid. They're going to do things behind your back. Kind of like what we used to call chicken fighting. Go into a bar, go up behind somebody and slug them in the back when they're not looking. In American society, doing that will not score you any points. It used to be said like this, you hit a man when his back's turned. You better watch out. That's what I had heard all my life. Chicken fighting. And there's no, this is not necessary. Tell me why you disagree with me. Make a video debating my video. And if I want to listen to it, I will. If I don't, I don't. Some people got upset when I talked about certain issues like video gaming and stuff like that. And I'm like, you know what? It's an opinion. The fine piece is still going on. Steamroll, squirm, repeat. Steamroll, squirm, deny, deflect. Typical girl. Clinical diagnosis of us males. Never admitting she's wrong. Coming off like she's perfect, valiant, holy. Never did this, never did that. Quoting scriptures, using it as a bludgeon sword. <laughs> I guess she thinks that taking on the whole armor of God is taking the sword of the spirit and just knifing somebody over and over and you got to wonder is she a sadist but she'll come back to me and say look at the hostility he has towards Christians no I don't feel comfortable around fakes I don't feel comfortable around a cultural Christianity and I will say it again and we will talk about that stuff we're going to talk about that stuff because I have bought into cultural Christianity. What I want to talk about is not this crap. What I want to talk about, up and coming, is to talk about how we <clears throat> have allowed the internet, the media, <clears throat> and our Western nation culture to let us be the frog in the kettle. I've seen it happen to me. I want to share that with you. I want to share how all of us are not reacting the way we should react, how we're not responding the way we should respond, how we're not walking the way we're supposed to walk because we have been deeply, deeply seduced and pulled away from. You have Christian extremes from far left to far right. You have fine peace, bludgeoning people with the word of God. You're all sinners. You're all going to hell. You're all wretched. Find peace. Took issue with me believing in eternal security. I've noticed something about people who believe you can lose your salvation. They're not very nice. And I only have one thing to say. If you can lose your salvation, nobody's going to heaven. Nobody. 
Because then you would have to crucify Jesus Christ all over again. Paul says that in Hebrews 5. Reading the comments by Fine Peace reveals to me these are the exact same tit-for-tat letter style, grammar style, as Gypsy's letters to me in my inbox. And it all clicked. This is somebody who's waiting to pounce because I called her out. Her stuck upness, her self righteousness. This is a woman who posted, sent me pictures, one with no shirt on, most of them with this, you know, low, very scantily clad in the upper body. Now, I'm not being self righteous because I've looked at that stuff myself. But this is a woman who said, I'm closer to the Apostle Paul. And if this is her that's fine peace, her vitriol and rage. This is not a woman who has peace. This is not a woman who's exhibiting the fruit of the Spirit. No matter what somebody has to say about me, there's no fruit there. There's no love. None. And by the authority of the Word of God, and what I understand the Word of God to say, that's not an example anybody should follow. Am I an example anybody should follow? <laughs> Sometimes, no. When I talked about doctrinal issues, when I talked about God and matters of faith, I told the truth. The problem is that I've run a channel talking about my personal life, the cultural aspects of Hong Kong, America, Aussie life, and Chinese life, and Filipino life. Complained about drivers and this and that. And as time has gone by, I'm feeling a more concerted effort to start to focus and refocus on sola scripture. Let's, let's talk about what the Bible says. Let's talk about how we need to grow. Then I struggled with that because if I started to do that, the views were low. People didn't want to hear. Some people said, oh, I like the Bible-based videos and the views would drop off. And... I said, for me, it's not about a popularity contest. I only have one thing, really, to say about fine peace. We can dissect this till we're blue in the face. The fact that she's unwilling to show herself on her channel who she is. And... That, that right there is a red flag to any objective viewer. Because if it's Gypsy, she knows that all my viewers are going to go, oh, that, all I'd have to do is say, that's Gypsy. And all the viewers are go, oh, well, he's already told us about her. Ah, now that fits. We didn't even go on a date. I didn't even meet her face to face. I didn't even get a phone call. She had the privilege of seeing wine, women, and song. One of my greatest videos that caused me to meet a lot of people. Maharani being one of them. Maharani being attracted to the wine, women, and song in my honest admissions of my struggles. If fine peace is Maharani then I would ask, why? I already told people why. There's band user, which many people have told me is clearly one of Legatus' sock puppet accounts. Band user also contacted Planejas, said he lives in Montreal. Plane uh, band user. And Legatus admitted he lived in Canada in the conversation we had on the phone the other night. And Planeja said, no, no, I don't want to meet up with you. And Ben User said, I want to talk to you about Pacific. So it is my belief that Band User and Legatus are the same thing. He wants to give the impression that there's all these others. There are.
people who disagree with me. There are people that have said all kinds of things. Celine Hagbird, Egg Gillespie, Ling Ling, Milt Lamprey. Uh, what was the other one I saw? The one with the pith helmet. Comments or videos. Celine Hagbird, blowhard. Not impressed. Celine Hagbird is impressed with himself. And what has happened in the last few years is YouTube now is attracting a bunch of people who don't, how do I say this? Who think that they've got, I'm the next American Idol complex. When I started my channel, I never thought that. To me, it was just a grassroots, you know, hey, hey, let's see what this is. To grow to 3,256 subscribers was noteworthy. So noteworthy that other people who knew they couldn't get that many subscribers on their own two legs started to attack me with a vengeance. To repost my videos while telling me what a piece of trash I am. It finally became apparent. Repost specifics videos, then you get the views, not me. To me, that's pretty cheesy and sleazy. I, I was proof positive that if people were to be more real on the internet, even Legatus and others, fine peace, they'd have more stuff to talk about and they'd get more views just for being real hiding like fine pieces doing and refusing to show themselves is damning testimony against them they could type away and I've met female keyboard warriors I met, met them in chat rooms they would sit there and PM me and I don't want to type let's talk oh no I love typing <clears throat> they're proud of their perfect punctuation their perfect grammar and they want to just type you to death But what we have to ask at the end of the day, <clears throat> of myself, of anybody, is what fine peace doing? Is what fine peace doing? Is, is that the will of God? Is this a God mandate by God commissioning and putting into service her to come against me? I don't believe so. <clears throat> Number one, Ramon believes that he has a right to face his accusers. When somebody refuses to show themselves and they just keep banging and harping and writing mean, lace comments, and then she uses profanity. Now, I know I use profanity when I talk to Legos, as I've used it in my videos. But this woman is claiming to be very godly. She uses quotes saying that all these wives that Solomon had turned his heart after other gods. Nice reaching stretch, fine bees. None of those women have turned my heart after other gods. I can't deny and reject the true God. Compromise? Yes. Being involved with the wrong mate, whether you're a female dating men or whether you're male, such as I, dating women who have a different viewpoint. they can cause you to compromise. And I mentioned that when I went overseas. When I got involved with foreign women, not putting down foreign women, it dawned on me that the, <clears throat> the different cultures and stuff caused me to go, well, maybe I shouldn't be too condemning of this or that. That I kind of lost my sharp edge. And I began my own compromise slide, if you will. But for quite a while, I've heard some sermons on the radio on the way to work. I've been reading some books. And I feel God pulling 
that I know he wants me to be closer in my walk with him. I know that I haven't always exercised the kind of walk that I would want to where I want to be. But at least I'm aware of that. With Maharani, find peace. If you're not Maharani, all I have to say is you can condemn me all I want. Maharani had an interest in me and I responded to that. We had a mutual interest in each other. I didn't do anything to her <clears throat> that was threatening. You, you write that I made threats against her. I never made any physical threats against that woman at all. I threatened to expose her, her emails, and her photos. And I did that based on Legatus admitting or confessing or boldly stating that you find peace from Maharani. But the more I read your words, I thought, boy, this is very reminiscent of Gypsy's kind of style of writing. Excuse me for the sniffles. Find peace. There is nothing that any viewer out there who is intellectual and objective, they shouldn't even go around with you. There's only one thing that needs to be done. Show us who you are <clears throat> and silence your critics. You have falsely accused me. You have slandered me several times. Many things you have said. You blasted the girl from another state. Blasted her. You used the quote, she had sass in class. You rubbed it in my face. Please tell me the way you're so condemning to me. And then you ask these women to write you privately. Makes me wonder what your real motives are. You want everybody to message you privately. Um, secrecy? Protecting everybody? Who do you think you are, fine peas? Protect them from what? The Pacific had a gun in his hand and said, Maharani, take your shirt off. No, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. I don't need to defend myself against fine peace. I don't need to. Number one, she didn't follow biblical protocol at all. Even though she quotes scripture, even though she tells everybody that I'm going to hell and that I'm following Satan and that I need to take my meds. And, I mean, listen to what she's writing. This doesn't sound like Maharani. This sounds like Gypsy. <laughs> Very, very, very angry, feminized, cultural Christian American woman. I hate to tell you, fine piece, I'm not on meds at all. Yeah, I do things like this. Habits. I... Sniff on YouTube. Sniff, meaning blow my nose. Not all the time. But I'm not on medication. I'm not undergoing any counseling right now. I've been going through some tough stuff in the last year. and Somebody came to me the other day and said, It's a wonder that you haven't had a breakdown. And I was shocked he said it to me. I said, you know, I just get up every day and one day at a time. I've been given greater responsibility in my job. I was even hired during the holiday break at another place that I used to work for because they wanted my services. I have my problems. But I, there are people that care about me, and there are people that like me. God loves me, and God cares about me. And when I see people getting so angry for somebody talking about God, like Legatus revealed in his conversation to me, I thought, how sad. 
If God doesn't exist, why do they feel so threatened by that? Why? I posted these videos I wanted to address find peace because I wanted the people who formerly watched my channel to know that I did not go away in shame. I did not feel this sense of shame like, oh, I did something wrong. I've been exposed. I got to go hide. No, nope, not at all. And I'll say it again. I took the channel down because I was tired of all the drama. Legatus comes out with his Johnny Carson style debut in Victoria Harbor in Hong Kong. I know the place well. I have walked all over that place. And I thought, really? He's saying he did it? What do you do when you feel that God has given you a gift and you feel that God has given you a calling? Do you let somebody chase you off? Or do you stand firm? You tell me. I'll say it again. All of the following, whether it's fine, peace, legatus, is confirmed to me. People don't like truth. This isn't about Pacific and all the harm he's done to women. That is a lie. I've already dressed Maharani. I care deeply for her. I still have extended the invitation. If she wants to write me and apologize if she is fine peace and she has been doing all this stuff. I don't want to strike up a romance with her. But I'd like to put closure to that and say, you know, what is the problem here? I do know she wrote on WordPress the whiny blog. And I just looked at that and shook my head and said, boy, she's not telling the truth here. Not at all. And the internet showed me, whether it was from Anne from Yugoslavia, who was connected to me and then connected to Maharani, and I watched them leave their crappy comments, and I'm like, wow, these people told me very personal things about themselves that they wouldn't want the YouTube audience to know. And it suddenly dawned on me, you can't trust anybody online. And I went from censoring all the comments to blocking people to now saying, you know what, I'm not going to block, I'm not going to censor, leave it all there. Leave it all there. If I want to read it, I will. If I don't, I don't. But find peace. I only have one, one final thing. You cannot and will not show yourself. Therefore, you are invalidated in what you say. Your BS about wanting to remain anonymous and protecting the identity of people sounds so laudable. It's so holy and pious, but it's it's a joke. You're hiding because you know the minute you show yourself that everybody's going to go, oh. Even if you weren't either of them and you were somebody that shocked me, what should I do? Cower in your presence? <gasps> oh, worthy. I'm unworthy and you are. Uh, no. Who are you? As the song in Tagalog, Nosi Balasi, who are they? Who are you? And Nathan the prophet came to David. And David listened to him. And Nathan said, you are the man. When somebody is sent by God, and the Holy Spirit's involved, it's going to have way more productive results than your rant. And you're bludgeoning people with scripture and your self-righteous tirade that we're all going to go to hell. We all got demons on us and we're all on meds and delusional. Steamroll, squirm, deflect, repeat. That's cute, isn't that? Did you get that in kindergarten? 
I'm not deflecting a darn thing. I love the accusations that people have made. I, I read this. You know, you know, there really are insane people on the Internet. Insane. <laughs> people that watch my channel, some of them were insane. Loco en la cabeza. The choo-choo's missing the caboose. I've had to take some hard reality pills. No, not real. Using an analogy. And go, you know, some of the people who watch my channel are woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Woody Woodpecker cuckoo. There's others I've met that are sound. There's others that I've met that are professional. The fact that this woman cannot show herself and refuses to do so ought to be enough for everybody to just go discredited, invalidated. If we're going to talk Bible, and Pacific under his channel never said that I live the Bible and I'm closer to the Apostle Paul than you are. I never did that. I'm still trying to find my way. Not the way, but my way. Meaning, God, how do I integrate the principles of your extreme perfection, holiness, and purity into my life when I live and move in this culture and I live and move in my own sinful, carnal nature? How do I do that? Not an easy question to answer. We can quote scripture. We can quote it, quote it, quote it. But then I look at some of the, some of the people quote the scripture like you find peace. And I go, boy, who would want to be inspired by your rant and yuck? Not me. You don't lure me closer to a walk with God. Why would you? You can't. No. Find peace. There's no reason for me to write you anymore. Show yourself. Remove all doubt. If we're wrong, that it's not just your Maharani, show yourself and tell us who do you think you are. Go ahead. Make your Johnny Carson video. Do what you got to do. But even Legatus showed himself. But you? You're the worst of the bunch. You're just sitting back there. Comments from the peanut gallery. Hiding behind your little plywood fort. Reaching around going... <laughs> Ooh, ow! Hey, that's godly. That pleases the Lord. You're showing the world and warning the world how dangerous Pacific is because he looked at pictures of topless girls? Have you not watched what is going on in the world and then you show a video by Ray Comfort trying to tell people that liked me that I'm just like Hitler? Wow. And then you deny it and then in the same sentence admit to posting the video said I didn't post a video of Hitler. And then you turn around in a sentence later and say, I posted a video showing Hitler. Oh, there you go. Contradicting yourself much? You're angry. You're nasty. You're mean. And guess what? You're not any closer to Jesus Christ than I or anybody else. You may not have a problem with lust. Goody for you. But you sure got a problem with pride spiritual blind to yourself I don't like people that think that they're perfect I've never claimed to be perfect on my channel ever ever yeah fine peace you're the one that has issues you're the one that's chasing demons in fact they're chasing you
In fact, they're not chasing you. They got you on their leash. Look at your vitriol. Look at your nasty, snipey, awful comments that don't stop. Please show me that that is the fruit of the Spirit. Don't turn that around and say, well, look at you. Hey, I'm reacting to your crap. I'm human. I'm tired of it. But you? Steamroll, deflect, deny, squirm. Show yourself or shut up. Take your typewriter, throw it in the trash, put your keyboard in the dumpster, and go find something else to do. I'm tired of your typing campaigners against me -us. Go find something to do, woman. Go be a godly woman and show us what that looks like. But your writing and your ranting and your garbage and your slander and your lies and your cussing, you, you are exactly the same thing that I've realized has happened to all of us. We've been on the internet culture. We've been in the media culture that we're no longer looking, acting, thinking, walking like Christians. We're acting like everybody else. And we've justified in our mind, it's okay, I hate this guy, so therefore he's a F word. Find peace. Remove the doubt. Show us who you are. Till then, you go ahead and type away done reading your BS, because that's all it is. Bullshit. Yep, I said it. <sighs> I'm done. Find peace. This is Ramon. This is what I have to say. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs>